Thank you for joining me. One of the best new features about Windows Live Mesh is the ability to set up PCs that you can remotely control through the Live Mesh application. You can see here that it says status that gives you the status of folders, program settings, and office. You can also see it says remote. Clicking on remote gives you the ability to connect to another computer. If you've already set up the computer you want to connect to, just click on connect to this computer. You can see I'm here. I'm going to type in my password. Going to log in, and now I'm ready. Now, why would you want to log in through Windows Live Mesh? Well, first of all, the computer that I'm working on is Windows 7 Home Premium. And for those of you that do not know, you can only use remote access on Windows from Windows 7 Professional or higher. So this allows those of us that have Windows 7 Home Premium machines to use Live Mesh and to log in through those machines. So this is great for us. And again, if I wanted to go through and use Live Mesh on this computer, I can do the same thing. You can see within here, you can see I have the PC that I'm actually on connecting back to that. And of course, my work computer. So this is nice. So I can actually log in and get remote access to any of the computers through Windows Live Mesh. If you're on a computer that does not have Live Mesh installed, go to devices.live.com and log in with your Windows Live ID. You'll then see a list of the computers available for connection. You can actually click on the computer and it'll give you information about the status, synced folders, and hard drive information. Click on back and then click on connect to this computer. This will now allow you to connect remotely through the web to this machine. And I've now logged in through the web interface. Again, you can see that this is a Windows 7 Home Premium machine, and I no longer need to use Windows 7 Professional or above to log in. I can actually use all of my systems and do everything, as you can see here, including maintenance, all via web remote or live mesh. Check back with using Windows Home Server for more information on the connected digital home.